Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Western fiction and their authors. Let's check it out. I love Western novels. They inspire and entertain me. In fact, up until I started the Arizona Ghostwriters channel, I was reading about one a month. <laughs> Bill! Authors like Peter Branvold, Louis Lamour, Cormac McCarthy, William W. Johnston, Richard Matheson, Elmer Kelton, Ralph Compton, J. Lee Butts, and Zane Gray. Ooh, they're just a few of the ones that have occupied space on my bookshelves. Many of these folks deserve their very own video, which I will tackle down the trail. This is the end of the trail for me. I got nothing left. Happy trails to you, till we meet again. Now, the operative word here is fiction. Considering that, these authors still had to do their historical research to set the stage. Some of them grew up in the West and experienced the towns and the people. With their words, they paint the picture of the wild frontier, bringing to life the characters and the romance of this fascinating era. Some of them are ongoing series where you follow a protagonist as he drifts from town to town, getting into trouble with the local bad element. A few of my favorites are the ones with revisionist history. Richard Matheson is a good one for this. Imagine if Wild Bill Hickok was just another person in the West who, through a series of accidents and misunderstandings, becomes the legendary gunfighter. Here's one, The Stone Garden, the epic life of Billy the Kid, written by Bill Brooks. This covers an aging Billy who survived Pat Garrett's bullet to marry Charlie Bowdry's widow and fight in the Spanish-American War under an assumed name. Many books have been made into movies. Glendon Swarthout wrote The Shootist in 1975, and it became the basis for John Wayne's last movie. How are you feeling? A little more poorly every day? You got a streak of kindness a mile wide. Many of Louis L'Amour's books have been immortalized on film. Bringing to life his heroes are actors like Tom Selleck, Sam Elliott, Joel McRae, and of course, The Duke. Larry McMurtry wrote a Pulitzer Prize novel called Lonesome Dove that many viewers here would agree is one of the best westerns ever made. Got a herd of cattle to look at. Larry followed it up with sequels and prequels that have also been adapted for the big screen. Then you've got authors like George Gilman, who wrote the Edge series. These stories are very violent, and our psychopathic anti-hero becomes a character that you need to save the day, but don't necessarily want to share a meal with. My brother got me reading novels. After a lot of misses, he finally found one author I loved. Robert B. Parker wrote about a private eye named Spencer, and I was hooked. Damn, you know I'm getting sick and tired of your aberrant behavior. Woo! I just get chills when you use the big words. Imagine my excitement when Parker wrote a western called Appaloosa that ended up becoming a hit movie starring Ed Harris and Viggo Mortensen. I think you and me might want to ride up there and see what they're doing. Can't finish my coffee first. You surely may. Some of you viewers are novelists. You've sent me your work and not only am I grateful, but excited that the current generation is writing western fiction. For you authors, please don't stop writing them. You're keeping the spirit of the Old West alive. Now, I'm sure there's an author some of you viewers like that I didn't mention. Please feel free to share a comment down below. Also, try to be kind in the comments. Remember, these are all opinions. I hate rude behavior in a man. I won't tolerate it. Well, folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. As always, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on down the trail.